Alright everybody, we're going to talk about in this video, King's Crew, the Rebel MC, and the other infamous Grim Reapers, the Alberta Turf Wars, along with the Grim Reapers Motorcycle Club, the Warlords Motorcycle Club, and the Rebels. The King's Crew became one of the fourth dominant outlaw motorcycle clubs operating in Alberta. To 1997, by the late 90s, King's Crew became part of the Hells Angels in a patch over ceremony held in Calgary, Alberta. Through the 1970s, the Rebels had multiple violent exchanges with their main rivals in the province, the Grim Reapers Motorcycles Club. 1970s would prove to be an extremely dominant period for the Rebels. The club held an Iron Fist territory policy which saw them battle for dominance in the province against several other groups. In the early 80s, as the Reapers grew more powerful and the Rebels less so, the Rebels were warned by the Reapers not to fly the Alberta Lower Rockers on their cuts. So members of the Calgary chapter used Southern Alberta as their bottom rockers and members of Edmonton used Northern Alberta as their bottom rockers. So in the late 70s and the early 80s, the golden era in Western Canada for the independent 1% of clubs was booming for the outlaws. The Rebels were the dominant club in the Edmonton era, while the rivals of the Grim Reapers were the largest club in Red Deer and the beautiful city of Calgary. In 1977, the King's Crew was established and quickly became major players in Alberta, especially Calgary. During this time, they would allege themselves with the Rebels Motorcycle Club, who had became enemies of the Grim Reapers Motorcycle Club. In the 1980s, they would become much more involved in the Alberta Biker War conflict that took many lives. The Grim Reapers Motorcycle Club would still cut off of five members of the King's Crew Motorcycle Club at gunpoint and set them on fire. In March 1983, multiple assault rifle bullets were shot at the Grim Reapers Clubhouse located in Calgary, Alberta. It was believed to be attack was carried out by the King's Crew MC later that day. On April 13, 1993, the King's Crew Clubhouse is targeted and bombed and destroyed. In April 1984, members of the King's crew, Wayne Jordan, was exiting a store. Then two Grim Reaper approached him at gunpoint, fired at him. He ran into the store and called the authorities, identifying the Operation Club members who were placed in police custody. The King's crew motorcycle club kicked him out for calling the authorities. On August 13, 1984, Grim Reaper member David Warshock is hospitalized by King's Crew members. On July 26, 1987, King's Crew member Richard Moy is knocked out cold by Michael Dahl, Carrie Eastman, and Derek Smith, members of the Grim Reapers Motorcycle Club. They took his cut off him and beat him brutally. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. I'm Mr. Juggalo. Whoop, whoop.